Now it is my honor to introduce Dr. Paul Davis, who will present the Alumni Award for Distinguished Professional Achievement. Paul? Well, good evening, and welcome, honored guests, and thank you, Vince. I've got too many things on my mind that I have to do right, and I did wrong. All right. Should I start over? <laughs> good evening, and welcome, honored guests, and friends of Worcester State University. I feel uh, most privileged tonight to present the background of award-winning photojournalist and author Brian Scarry to you. Brian graduated from Worcester State University in 1984 with a degree in media communications. Brian was a student in my intro to photography class and I just wanted to say I did want to say I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> and then my wife told me I had to tell the truth. And, uh, and I like to think taking the course inspired him to advance in photo knowledge. Brian is now a photojournalist for National Geographic. He has been praised worldwide, not just for his aesthetic sense, but on the uniquely creative images he takes that tell stories, celebrating the mystery and beauty of the sea. But most importantly, for the awareness his images have brought to the issues endangering our oceans and its inhabitants. Brian's specialty is marine wildlife and underwater environments. And his year-round assignment schedule takes him to all parts of the world. Right now, he's in Spain. Uh, Brian doesn't just photograph tropical coral reefs. He has done assignments under the polar ice. He has lived on the bottom of the sea, spent months aboard fishing boats, and traveled in everything from snowmobiles to canoes to the Goodyear blimp in order to, quote, get the picture, unquote. He has spent more than 10,000 hours underwater over the last 30 years. He has momentarily been lost under the Arctic pack ice and water that was 28 degrees Fahrenheit. He has been grabbed grabbed by a Humboldt squid and chased by a sperm whale. His scariest moments came when a nine-foot saltwater crocodile came within three feet of him uh, at the edge of a mangrove forest in Mexico, even as his assistant fended off the animal with a PVC pipe. But Brian recognizes that his photos underscore the fact that animals, quote, let us into their world. Brian has now achieved worldwide recognition as a photographer, is an author of five books, and is a dedicated spokesperson for the environment. His photos have appeared in countless publications worldwide, and his fine art prints have sold at Christie's auction. He is a frequent guest on television's four major networks. In addition, he has been invited to lecture on photography and conservation issues at venues such as Harvard University and the National Press Club in Washington. He is both a founder and member of several conser conservation photographic organizations that focus attention on the issues endangering our oceans and its inhabitants. And National Geographic has named one of Brian's images among their 
50 greatest photos of all time. Thank you, Brian, for bringing attention to the wonders of our world through your eyes and images, as you have said. Photography can be a powerful instrument for change. Our world is a better place because of your efforts. Thank you, Brian Stern. As you may have uh, noticed, Brian is absent, but I am pleased to say that his wife Marcia and his daughter uh, Kate are here. Hey, but Marcia, would you come up, please? to him, but he's currently on assignment for National Geographic magazine, and I'm sure he pinches himself every time he hears that, because he does have his dream job. Uh, when Brian first found out that he would be receiving this award, of course, he felt incredibly honored. Worcester State holds a very dear place in his heart. Um, it's where it all began for a young man with a very big dream of becoming a National Geographic photographer. Brian realized that if he, this, he was going to reach his dream, he would first have to get an education uh, and major in something that would give him a solid foundation and the skills he would need to, uh, that we, he would build on to really continue on his career path. Uh, so he did some research and decided that he would enter the communications media uh, program here at Worcester State back in the early 1980s, headed by Paul Davis. And, um, he loved his years here, and he certainly did get the skills he needed to continue on. But as important, I feel that his education here gave him confidence and inspired him to continue on his creative path. After college, he worked tirelessly perfecting his craft and really um, continuing with his dedication to bringing images of the underwater world that he had so much passion for. Uh, it took a lot of hard work and a lot of perseverance, but today he is working on his 21st story for National Geographic magazine, um, which he's, of course, very, feels very lucky, and, um, and it all started here. Um, he, um, now, he, he's actually over his career, has grown from a photographer who he just wanted to take pretty pictures um, of underwater subjects, which he does do, into really a photojournalist who uses those images to educate people about the problems in the oceans and to um, bring to light the solutions that exist that we can all be part of to help uh, heal some of the many destructions facing our oceans today. He's a very strong um, ocean conservation advocate. He's dedicated to raising awareness in an effort to get people to care about the oceans and to act to make changes that will benefit all of us in the future. Um, he is often fond of quoting the statistic that three out of every four breaths that we take comes from the, come from the ocean, and it's very important that we save the oceans and um, work toward that. So he's been lucky enough to use his photography career to get that message out and to inspire people to act. Um, Brian has received countless awards for his photography over the years, both nationally and internationally, but this award is right at the top of his list. Uh, this is uh, very special to him. Back in 1984 when he was graduating from Worcester State, I don't think he could have ever imagined that almost 30 years later he would be 
welcomed back to be presented with such a prestigious award. Um, I guess he'd say it makes him feel old, <laughs> but he'd also say he's extremely proud to be an alumnus of Worcester State University. Thank you so much.